As you recall in the previous training video, when we edited one of the three time fields, we can either do it manually, or with the task mode set as manual, or with it unchecked, you can go ahead and do it automatically. Now when it's unchecked, you get the task type feature, that's part of the automatic task mode, or you also get effort driven. Let me go ahead and show you. Manually, you don't get effort driven or the task type. Undo it, you get effort driven. What is effort driven? It's where the more work resources that are assigned to a task, the less time or effort it takes to complete it, and hence it'll reduce the time fields. I mean, up until this point, we've only assigned one resource per task. So if I come over here, I've got task 5 selected, and I come down here in the task form and click below Rider 1 because I want to add another resource to that task. Click on the drop down arrow. Let's go ahead and do Project Manager 1. And I check Effort Driven. Now Effort Driven works with the uh, task type fixed units. In other words, it'll cut the amount of time or effort it takes to complete the task, but because it's fixed units, it won't cut the units. In other words, assigning additional resources with the uh, task type fixed units, it'll split the uh, work between the two resources. So instead of 16 hours for one resource, you'll still have 16 hours, but it will be 8 hours each. So if I click OK, there you go. 8 hours for Rider 1, 8 hours for Project Manager. And because they're both working on it at the same time, instead of two days, you get your 16 hours done in one day. You also get uh, fixed duration. That assigning additional resources, it of course won't change the duration because it'll be fixed, but instead it'll shorten the work and or units. And then you've got, well, let me choose Fixed Duration. And then you can go ahead and see that Effort Driven. Well, it's checked by default because that's what I had previously. And then you've got Fixed Work, which by default, it's always going to be checked. You can't uncheck it. So with Fixed Work, you can have 16 hours of work here between the two and increase the duration to 25 days. And it will be 16 hours of work in 25 days. Oh, that's fun. In any case, I don't want this to be changed, so I'll click Cancel. Okay, should we do it again to compare and contrast? Let's go to task 8 and let's assign the project manager to it. Coming down here and clicking on the arrow, project manager 1. Now, if I did effort driven, they would be 4 hours each because 8 hours for one day. If I don't check it and I click OK, it doesn't do anything. So now we got 16 hours in one day. So you can see the benefit of using effort driven. Of course, that does assume that they're both uh, at the same level of work. In other words, if uh, I've got Ditch Diggers and I have Ditch Digger 1 and Ditch Digger 2, but Ditch Digger 1 is a big birdie guy and he can fly through the dirt and get that done fast, but Ditch Digger 2 is a guy who can't lift a shovel. Well, you see the possible discrepancies, but you uh, hopefully do have resources that can take the same workload here and not have one who just kind of you know flakes around. Okay, let's do one more. Let's go to uh, task four and add down below. Let's do admin assistant one, effort driven with fixed units. Okay, five days, 40 hours of work. It's gonna split the work, 20 here, 20 there. Click okay. Now it's two and a half days. So cool, I've shortened my project's uh, finish date by a couple of days at least, and I have a happy client. And then when you're finished, using the task form down below to get rid of it, of course, you can come up here on the View tab in the Split View group and uncheck it. Or if you're really good, you can double click really fast to get rid of it. If you want to bring it back, instead of coming up here and checking it, you can just come back down here in the lower right hand corner. I don't know if you can see it, but you see that little tiny bar right there. When I hover over it, you can see arrows pointing up and down. Well, when you see that, click and drag. And you can bring the uh, split bar back up, the split window, and you can see the task form is there. You can click and drag to get rid of it. It's gone. You click and drag to bring it back, or double click really fast, and it's gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.